Hello, great people. You are welcome back to Physical Fashion House channel. I'm Fola. I'm glad to have you here back in our studio. And today we'll be learning how to make a, a trendy pleated structure the sleeve. Let's go. So I'll be using these bodies for the projects. And uh, this is the fabric I'll be using. So I'll be using the same fabric as lining. So this is the main fabric. And this main fabric has been, you know, the interfacing has been gone to it, that light uh, interfacing. This crillonite uh, will be used. It is a, uh, I'm using two inches a uh, crillonite. So, now to start with, the bodies we are having in our, um, in our thumbnail, the body is actually a uh, bustier with a uh, yoke, with net yoke. So, and you will see that it has a, a cold shoulder effect. So that's the first thing I will do to these uh, bodies. I will create the, I mean, cold shoulder effect. And to achieve that, you know, this bodies here, this is the shoulder length. And the shoulder length is, uh, we're having here is 14 inches. So um, when you are making any cold shoulder um, top, so you have to, to come in your, in your shoulder length. You have to come in with like a two inches. So for this, because this uh, the neckline of this very top is already wide. So assuming the neckline is a basic uh, neckline, so I will just come in with like a, the neckline will have stopped here. So in that wise, I will have used like two inches to come in for my cold shoulder. For but for this, let me just uh, come in with like a one 1.5 so i will just uh, connect it i will connect it to the uh ammo line i connect it this way then i i cut it so that it will give us uh, that uh, cold shoulder effect This is it. So the next thing I'll be, so I will later go and, you know, stitch this side. So the next thing I will put into consideration now is the measurement of our sleeve. So our sleeve will be attached to this part of our arm or cuff. So I will be using like a five inches five to 5.5 .5 inches so this is the area our you know sleeve will be attached to so this side will just be this is the side that will give us the cold shoulder effect so now to now measure the amount of fabric i need for my for the sleeve so you measure what you are having here we have 5.5 .5 here now so plus seam allowance of a half an inch that will be used to join it here so we have a, that will be six inches so that because it's going to be pleated in this area that six inches just multiply it by three when you multiply it by three it gives us a 18 inches so have that in mind that we are to consider 18 inches for that side. So we have uh, almost 18 inches here. So we are good to go. So this is the area that will be pleated here. So and to fold our fabric, to fold our fabric this way, you know, the, the upper hand circumference we are working with is uh, 14 inches. When you divide 14 inches by 2, you know the fabric is going to be on full so it will give us a uh, seven inches so that seven inches just add something like half half of it add it to it if you had half of a uh, seven inches is a uh, 3.5 so if you had this say a 3.5 to 7 it give us a uh, 10.5 so it is 10.5 you will use in folding your fabric so we have 10.5 here so that's how i come about this uh, length of my fabric 
So I cut out the same thing for the lining. This is the measurement we need for our sleeve now. So the next thing we are to do is to is to go ahead and uh, attach this uh, crinoline to our fabric. We are going to attach it both uh, um, up and down. You attach it here, you attach it here. For the bodies, that uh, hand mold, the area, the, our sleeve is not going to be extended to, has been secured with a bias. So ensure that you use a matching color of your what you are working with so now we want to take care of our sleeves now so and what we need to do is that you grab your this is the main fabric you grab it you place the the line on it let the let the right side face the right side just this way then you grab your Pillow line and begin to attach it to both of them, both the lining and the fabric. And as you are attaching it, ensure that uh, you leave like quarter of an inch. I will be pinning it on it now. So, and as you are pinning it, all, pull it. Just place it this way. So, I will, you know, as I'm placing it. I will step in with uh, like half an inch here. The half an inch we have ruled by the side. I will step in because we are going to be sewing on that area. So you start pinning it down after this uh, half an inch. So, and uh, for the upper part, ensure that you leave like quarter of an inch up here. So you pin it down before we take it to machine. So as you are pinning it down, don't ensure it's not pulling. Yes, this is it. We want to go and sew on it now. And when you want, when you are sewing on it, ensure that you sew at the edge of your crinoline, at the very edge of it. That is where we are going to be sewing on. So this thing I do here, I will do the same thing down here. So I. Cut it out, leaving half an inch by the side. So I'll do the same thing down here. Now I've joined it down with, uh, you know, I left a uh, quarter of an inch up here and I sew it down with uh, less than quarter of an inch. I sew it at the edges of the crinoline. Then I remove my pin. I've done the same thing to the down part. So the next thing for us is to turn it to the right side now. So this is the right side. This is where there, this is our you know free fabric. This is the lining. So you go ahead and iron it. By the time you iron it, this is what it will give you. You will have something like this. So the this is the lining. So the joining will, uh, will be folded in this way. So you iron it. Even when you are joining your crinoline, you are good to add the M gum to it so that it will lay very well to your main fabric. I've gone ahead to iron it. So before I iron it, I apply this uh, M gum on my crinoline. I place it on the crinoline. I sew it together with the crinoline. Then I iron it very well. So after turning it to the to the right side, you will experience a kind of a surplus in the line. So before I stitch it up by the side, I go ahead and stitch it. I hold like half an inch from inside so as to you know to avoid that uh, surplus. So here we have our sleeve now. So the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and uh, stitch it on a fabric so this is the way it will go so for this side we are going to pleat it we are going to pleat it this way 
you plead, uh, what you are trying to achieve as you are pleating it is this is the is what you are having here you know by this side we are having like a 5.5 so you stitch it i mean you you pleat it to achieve like a 5 inches as we want to attach it to to our fabric so first of all ensure that you will overlock your both side of your sleeve then you overlock uh, this side so and for your for the bodies you will leave like a 1.5 i mean like one inch by the hampit uh, region leave like one inch then you you fold it in so from it is from that uh, after that one inch that you want to stitch so this is one inch you mark it so your joining will start from this uh, one inch. So which means you are having like a 4.5 on the, I mean, left to join your fabric and your sleeve now. So we are going to split this this way. You can use your pin to hold it down. You can go ahead and stitch it down before you now attach it to your... So... I measure it now and I measure I have something uh, 4 to 4.5 so this is what I will attach here the same thing by this side this side will go for the front why this side we go for, uh, the other side will go for the back so I do the same thing here so after holding the other side down you will have this is what you will have you can see I'll go ahead and attach it to to the bodies now so let me let me go and do that this side you will attach it here ensure you overlock your fabric so this is it you can see our, our pleated structure sleeve is already formed um, you can see how beautiful it looks so for me, I later reduce the wideness of my sleeve by three inches. It depends on how exaggerated you want it to be. Yes, I mean, I reduce the, this bit by this side with a, I reduce three inches of the of my wideness. So it depends on how exaggerated you want it to be anyway. So, but I prefer it this way. So I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Drop your comment on the comment section. Try it on so that you know what we are talking about and then share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.